Hi everybody, it's Nancy here, and I finally, finally had time to play. My daughter's been sick, but she's on the mend now. So, I wanted to show you what I've been playing with. Okay, this is uh, like Tilda inspired stuff. I'm still trying to learn that style because it's a very simple. In my opinion, it's a very simplistic style. So I want to show you what I did. Okay. This is a... Uh, uh, just some paper I crocheted around. And uh, then I... I actually printed out some um, Tilda paper on the internet from Pinterest. But I think it's like fabrics that uh, the images are from because the images are not very, very clear, okay? But you know the practice, it, it's it's okay. So I crocheted around it and then I fussy cut the little bird and uh, these flowers and pop dotted them. And this little bow I had, uh, I think from Walmart. So that's my first one. Then I did this one. And this one I actually uh, got off my paper pad. Did I? I don't remember. Anyway, and, and it's the same concept except this one is uh, a little bigger. I'm going to go fast because I did, I did a lot of little tilde things, I think. So. so I did this and the only difference is I had this little trim lace that I bought off I want to say craft supply one or lavish laces and uh, again this popped out of this image and then I fussy cut this rose from the same paper that I've printed out from here and just popped out of it on one of the roses here to give it some dimension then I make this round when they're all very simple and I fussy cut this angel out and pop dotted her and this flower I got from I want to say my Olivia Hernandez uh, it's a flower pack uh, when she went to the Prima warehouse I might be wrong if I am I'm sorry whoever gave me this flower pack. Thank you so, so much. And then these stamens from Natasha Scrapbook Corner, of course. And this paper back here is also from the internet. And this I know for sure. It's it's what it is. It's like a it's like a images of Tilda fabric and you can print them off. So they're not clear clear you, you know what I'm saying so this one and then I make this one again very simple the same paper I popped out it these flowers this little flower and a little thing here a little flat back pearl and these uh, wheat sprays and these I did on these bracelets you see that you buy at the dollar store I think I showed them to you before right and this is the last one I made and there's a little bird's nest. And this I got off one of my paper pads. Yes, this I did get from one of my paper pads. And I put a little Natasha bow up here. And I left this blank. I don't know if I'm going to put anything on there or just leave it like it is. Okay. And then I did all these buttons because I had all these little scraps left so I did the buttons but look I decided first to glossy accent them I don't know if you can tell and they're and they're prettier and sturdier than if you just leave them like this but man it's a lot of work to do these little buttons because you can basically do you know up to here where your thumb is and you have to let it dry and then you do the other side so you see the difference I do like them glossy accented better so I might I'll have to buy me some more glossy accents and I might do this but I just punch punch punched away <laughs> but you know you don't want to if you have the pretty papers the leftovers you don't want to waste it right okay oh 
I got me this punch. I got it on Walmart.com. I got it, uh, oh, I don't know, two, three weeks ago. And this was on Walmart.com, and it was quite inexpensive. Because I can't find the the little punches that you all have from Michaels, because I don't have a Michaels. So I thought, well, I'm going to go ahead and get this. And I made so many of these. <laughs> And this is the only one I decorated so far. But look, I've made all of these. I've made all of these. And of course, this is from a paper pad that I've cut out and double-sided. So, you know, when I do racks or something, I thought that would be cute to put, you know, on the gift or to put buttons, my, my tilde buttons on here or something like I don't know. I just had fun making them. You know, I was in the mood just to make uh, embellishments again. That's the thing. Okay. Then I made these, and I saw this on Pinterest. But I think Tutu Amy does them also. But I'm not sure because, uh, I, like I said, I found this on Pinterest. And this is the crepe paper. And you just cut it out and layer it. And you stick all this, and this is the, uh, you know, the fiber. And this is the only, well, I had two buttons, I think, that were, that didn't have the holes, you, you, you know, where you sew them on. So I decoupaged this little image, this from a napkin on there. And I saw this idea, I want to say it was on Facebook and I think it was on Vilma on you know teacups and roses I believe it was on her she posted it I think I'm pretty sure so I thought how cute so I looked through all my buttons and I only had like one or two that didn't have holes that I could uh, take a pass on so I did this one and I did this one. And this is not very Tilda-like because there's actually an angel in there. And there's little sequins I, with the glossy accents I put them on. And there I trimmed it with gold. I'm not a gold fan, but on this flower I like it. Okay. Now, oh, this idea I got from uh, Maya. Her video, her YouTube video name and her blog spot is uh, Falcon Nest. I will put it in the description box. And she doesn't make many videos, but her blog is beautiful. Oh, you have to go see. And I use Tilda paper. And you remember, I just got this. This is actually the first thing I used that... Uh, uh, Irina, she gifted me so many cute things, and I've always wanted a big uh, peg, but I, like I said, I can't find one because I am I'm very limited to uh, what we have in, in my town as far as crafts. So I put this tilde paper on and uh, put a little nest and I used these aqua-like uh, uh, pearls, they're acrylic, and they're from Walmart, you know, they, they, they come like for a dollar in a little pack, and I used them as uh, eggs because I just, I, I was too lazy to make any, basically. And the same paper, I ripped little pieces and put them in here, and these little appliques, I, I want to say, her name is Crafting Nita on Etsy or Sibit. Woo! Sorry, sorry, guys. And uh, I got a whole pack for a dollar. I bought that uh, like two, three weeks ago, too. That was It was my last spending spree before my freeze. And for a dollar, can you imagine all these? So I bought me two of them. And I put some of them in here also, just for a little color. Uh, there is a little tiny fabric butterfly and I popped, I glued on a paper butterfly on top of it that I cut out from the, something I printed out on Pinterest. Little flowers, little stamens, a little heart, 
uh, uh, buttons again. There's a button also. Can you see? Yeah. And there's buttons. I cut them in half. And some moss. And I did gesso the peg a little bit because it was bright pink and I wanted it a little softer to match the pink in here. And that's all I did to it. And I love it. And I saw this on, oh, in this little bow. And it was on a gift that I think also Irina gave me. And of course I save everything. So I kept the little bow and put it on here just so for color, you see? And uh, like I said, I saw this on Maya's blog or channel. I don't know, but I will write it down for you and check out her blog and the few videos she has up. But uh, I love her work also. What else? I'm almost out of time. Oh, yes, I've been crocheting these little ones with floss, you know, embroidery floss. And some of the glossy accented buttons I put in the center. And I thought these would be, these are cute tilde things, right? This qualifies as tilde, right? And then I make some more different flowers and some more dominoes and glass tiles. And I'll be happy to show them to you. They're not tilde-like, so I'd have to do another video. But if you would like to see, let me know. And if not, that's okay also. See, but how cute. But see, here is one now that is not glossy accented. And this one is. So what do you guys think? Should I glossy accent them all? Well, first I have to make a long trip to Hobby Lobby, right? <laughs> but uh, I could do that. And then I come across a new uh, flower tutorial, crocheted flower tutorial, but it's not Tilda-like, so I don't want to show it in this video. So let me know if you want to see it. If not, it's all right, okay? So uh, are these all my Tilda projects so far? I think so. So I'm going to try to put this on YouTube also because I belong to this uh, Totally Tilda group now. Because I'm Tilda crazy, although I don't know how to sew at all. Okay, But I will try to put it on YouTube and of course, uh, I mean on YouTube of course, and I will try to put it on Facebook. And that's why I only wanted to make a Tilda inspired video. So... Y'all have a great day. Let me know if you want to see my other crocheted flowers and things. And um, thanks for watching. Thanks to all my subbies. You're always so kind and sweet to me. And I do appreciate it. Believe me. Thanks for all your comments. So be good to each other, okay? And that's it. If you want to see another video, let me know. Bye-bye.